Hello my fan of pals and welcome back. If you're new here then thank you for joining me and giving me a try. My name is Di, I am here at Creative Common Design. Today I am setting up my planners for February. I'm doing this, it's currently the 18th. I'm doing it a little bit ahead of what I normally would because we start obedience training with Cosmo at the weekend. <laughs> whatever, whatever date that is, I don't even know anymore. And I wanted to kind of get a jump on getting this done because the dogs will be taking up the majority of my time the last two weeks of the month. So that is my plan. And again, this is what I do. You do you. I like to come in before I decorate my pages, put the post-its in where I need them, like pencil in things, have I got all my appointments in. Are all my ducks in a row? That is what this is about, right? So I'm going to take, this was my printable that I gave out at some point, December, January time, because I don't like the Sunday start, I like the Monday start. And then we're going to have a look at February, February, February. This will be goals. So for my currently, how I used it in January, I've just been using it to do my monthly goals. I used to do the Maxi Life. I like this new page from Happy Planner, the new currently page. I like this quite a lot makes sense to me. You just put in the top three things that I want to do this month and then you just check them off. It just makes sense to me. So I'm going to continue doing that for here. All right and then we will put in some stickies. I've got some stickies. I've got some stickies. These are from another project that I was doing earlier so let's just take these. The first is Thursday. All right, and then I'm just gonna write in, actually, I'm just gonna put another one in here. Or two, I'm gonna put two in, two, two things. Okay, so the first, we've got one little word, Feb, dog train, I should put obedience really, but yeah, I finally managed to sign him up. Um, so hopefully, hopefully all of that goes well. So that's a nine. And then on this one, I've got Zoom, one little word at 10. And I know that I probably missed the first bit of that, but that's fine. Sue, birthday, new moon, dog train. My mum has an op this day, and that's when it's kind of tentatively scheduled for. Valentine's Day. I've got a subscription here to Duolingo, and I am cancelling it uh, because I am not using it right now. So... I'm just going to cancel it and make do with the free version. And then we have President's Day, Chris's birthday, Sue and Dave anniversary and full moon. And then and in the sidebar, I'm going to put taxes. So we need to get our stuff together. We've got our accountant appointment, so I need to get all of the stuff together this month. And then Manny, Petty, Facial. Perfect. Done. And then in my wellness, all I do is put in the new and the full. So I can put those in straight from there. The new is there. I like to have those in. It's not really that important, but okay. Those can go in. And then I just need my self-care things. And then let's put them in here too. So for February, my, my wellness goal is going to be Flow February. I'm going to do five minutes of yoga a day on top of my workouts. That is my goal for then. And then we're going to do petty, money, facial. And that is that. So that will be, again, I'll use it exactly the same as I did for this month because this has been great. This has been great. Like having my workouts here. On my currently page has been fantastic fantastic i can actually tick those off look at that tick those off but yes and i will update on stuff here when i do my monthly and stuff all right so that is my monthly my currently my monthly my currently so i'm going to put this 
sheet back in. I'm just going to slip this back in here. Nice. And then we will think about how we're going to decorate my planner. All right. So if you are new here, this is how I decide what I'm going to decorate with my planners. And I do this to take out the decision fatigue of sitting down with my planner each week and just being confronted with a blank page. Plus, it helps me use my stash. And that is what I'm all about right now is using my stash. Now, if you have not seen the February planner stash challenge, editing me will link that here and do a, a screenshot thing here. But there are four challenges for the month and I want to do as many of those as possible. I think I managed to do all of them for January. So yes, and if you're not in the Facebook group, I will leave a link down below. But yeah, we're just kind of trying to encourage each other to use our stash. So that is my plan. That is my plan. So I know that I want to use that mega seasonal book, the new one that came out, um, the mega holiday, mega holiday book, the same thing. I have the mega holiday and the mega seasonal. I have more than enough seasonal type stickers. So I want to use that this month and I'm going to do that here. Sorry, the way that I do this, this is my catch-all planner, my dashboard. This is my wellness planner, my vertical, and this is my journal. Mega holiday, I'm going to do the Valentine and that will be hashtag planner stash challenge. I'm also going to do that in my currently. I'm going to do both. I'm going to make them um, together and then I'm going to use the same book and mega holiday for my wellness, but we're going to do lunar new year and currently will be the same hopefully if i can figure that out but yes that's the plan all right so then for the weeks for the weeks we've got the week of the 12th which has valentine's day right which i'm going to use nightmare before christmas and i'm going to put that as the planner stash challenge because it's red and pink, which is one of the one of the color schemes. I think that's it, right? What else is there? I'm just looking at my calendar. First week, so the week of the 29th, there's not a lot. I'm gonna put florals here, and I'm gonna put um, I'm gonna put sponsored vid question mark. I have some stuff, but if I don't use those, I'm going to use the PET flowers that I got from Gravy question mark yes and then what I think I will use is the free spirit in my wellness I have the choice of two of the free spirit books there <laughs> planner stash challenge and then we have we've got hedgehog day and I'm going to do that for Etsy stickers and that will be something that I might put in my store all right, and then for the week of the 5th, the 10th is Lunar New Year, so let's put that in. And then we'll put that mega holiday book, the one that I'm using here. Yes, yes. And then I'm gonna do dragons. Either the ones that Rini did or mine new ones. I am working on some dragon stickers, so I will hope to get those done by then. And then I think because there's nothing else that week, I'm going to do the other sticker book because it's Free Spirit or Farmhouse or another book beginning with F. And that is going to be the Planner Stash Challenge. Why do I keep putting T? P-S-C. All right, so we've got Valentine's Day we've already done. We've got Mardi Gras that same week. And there's Galentine's Day, which is the day before on the 13th. I think I'm going to do Galentine's on this one and we'll use Glam Girl or some kind of accessory. I think I've got the accessory book for that and Socialite and other stuff. But I think the, Gal the, the Glam Girl has some Galentine type stuff in it. I might do Mardi Gras. I know Rini had some stuff. I don't know whether she has it in her store, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, for the 19th, the week of the 19th, we have President's Day, Rubber Ducky Day. Nothing is really exciting me there. 
so oh, the, the florals is the planner stash challenge as well so that's one two two three that is yeah so i think the other one was flags right yeah the other one was flags and flag stickers are those little pointy stickers the little pointy stickers you know the pointy stickers when we're talking about flag stickers these these things flags or the smaller ones like those kind of shape i think i'm gonna do that i think in here let's use that one happy life flags planner stash challenge um and that can be kind of it's kind of president's day maybe me eh, not really but sort of it's pet day on the 20th i'm going to use the cozy critters i have had that book and i've probably used it twice i love that book it's so cute and so fun but i've literally not used it so i'm just like i need to use that okay and then i'm kind of out of suggestions for this one we'll come back to that all right for the last week we've got cupcake day unplugging day dr seuss day mm, i'm thinking of oh i can combine i combine unplugging that's the first to the second and i'm going to use feels like sunshine because it's kind of like um wellnessy but also it's the planner stash challenge because it begins with f cupcake day i've got some of that stuff the cupcakes in the happy illustration do i want to do dr seuss again i'm gonna put dr seuss day in i'm not 100 percent sure i might do something else and all of this can change i'm not stuck down to this if i i don't know if i suddenly get a desire to go out and buy a new sticker book i can use that right so yeah i'm just these are suggestions they're suggestions what should i do here I'm going to put in that rubber ducky day and I'm going to put Etsy. There we go. Just because I want something in there. All right. So we've got mega holiday. We've got florals, lunar new year, Valentine's day. Let's put it in there. Pet day. Yes. And cupcake day. Yes. Or this, we're going to have lunar new year, free spirit, dragons, Galentines, rubber ducky day. Feels like sunshine. All right, and then we come to this. This is my journal. Now, for my journal, I have been using this month the horizontal layout. I like the horizontal layout. I just, I'm falling into a trap of doing the same thing because I feel a little stuck with the lines. I feel a little I'm going to call it restricted. I feel a little restricted with the lines. So I think I'm going to go to a different layout. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to put these in here and then try and figure out what layout I want to do. I'm thinking, as I was watching um, Mary Ellen from Planning with Bumble, and she's done a couple of different um, layouts last year. This year she's doing dot grid. I did dot grid last year. So what I'm thinking is I might just try a different layout or style of planner every every month. And I'm thinking of just doing lined paper for February. And I'm thinking of using this. This, if you remember, was the, the planner book that I used that I took apart from my tarot journal. I'm thinking of just reusing some of this. The other thing that I was thinking was maybe trying this this was the recovery planner i bought this last year to use as a health and wellness planner i hated it i moved into very very quickly my vertical again but i kind of like the prompts so i'm thinking of maybe oh it's funny it says february <laughs> i didn't even notice that i've got january in here as well but yeah i think if i can find enough pages that are all the same color i might try and use this I just have a feeling that I'm going to fall into the same trap of segmenting this off, but I might try it for a week and see what I think. I think in the end, I'm just probably going to go back to dot grid. I just love the freedom of the dot grid. 
of doing whatever the hell I wanted. I'm not sure. That is something that I need to think about, clearly. I'm going to put the, these sheets in here and then we'll we'll think about it. We'll think about it. I don't need to think about it until after this weekend. But either lined, I've done the, the vertical, the vertical doesn't work for me. So either the lined or this, thoughts. But now that I've done that, I think I want those there. That makes more sense. Okay, thoughts. If you have thoughts on that, then please let me know. Because I could just use that, see? I could use this. I don't know. There's just something about it that is appealing, but then also not because it has this stuff down the spine and I don't like that. But I'm going to have to think, figure out something for my journal because I'm just falling into the same trap with the horizontal. And it feels too linear. And I think the other thing is I've been using the horizontal for my tarot, which is working fantastic. I love this for my tarot, just coming in and just doing the little bit for the day. I love that. And I feel like my brain looks at this and then thinks it's my tarot. So I'm unsure as to what to do for this. I think I'm probably going to go back to dot grid or lined or something. I might just try lined. Somebody help. All right, that is my planner set up for February. If you want to join in the planner stash challenge, again, I will leave the link below to the Facebook group, but the prompts are florals, red and pink, free spirit, farmhouse, and a sticker book beginning with F, and flag stickers. Those are your four prompts for the whole month. You can do one, you could do none, you could do all of them. You could try and put all of them in one spread. But yeah, let's use our stash, friends. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you next time, my planner pals. Bye.